So you're thinking of getting a new graphics card, but which one will you get? There are several steps you need to make when shopping for a graphics card. The first is to decide between Nvidia and AMD. We're assuming most of you already know that these are the two most prolific GPU manufacturers on the market and that you're familiar with how they handle things, but if not, check out the link in the description. It'll inform you on everything you need to know. Next up, you need to decide on the GPU. Will you get an RTX 2070, a GTX 1650, an RX 5700, or any of the other ones? But this isn't the last step in your decision-making process as deciding on a GPU doesn't automatically equate to deciding on a graphics card. Even though the two terms are often used interchangeably, they don't mean the same thing. A graphics processing unit, or GPU for short, refers only to the chip designed by AMD or NVIDIA for graphics processing tasks. The term graphics card refers to more than just the chip itself. It also includes the PCB, the memory configuration, the cooling, the port configuration, and the shroud and backplate design. AMD and Nvidia make the GPUs, which are identical in all graphics cards based on one GPU. But everything else we've mentioned boils down to the graphics card manufacturer and can differ from one model to another. This is why some GPUs have single fan, dual fan, and even triple fan models. They're still based on the same GPU, but they're different graphics cards. Now, the cooling in particular can indirectly make one graphics card perform better than another, even though their GPUs are identical, but overall, you shouldn't expect the performance of different models based on the same GPU to differ widely, which can't be said for the price. Graphics cards models also differ in terms of their warranty. Most manufacturers typically offer a three-year warranty plan with their graphics cards, but this can be shorter or longer in certain cases. So now that we know what the role of graphics card manufacturers is, let's list some of the best and most well-known brands and elaborate on what you should expect from them in terms of price, features, and warranties. Asus is without a doubt one of the biggest and most recognizable graphics cards manufacturers on this list. Their Republic of Gamers brand and ROG Strix cards are notable for their efficient cooling and aggressive RGB heavy design, but also notorious for the hefty price tags attached to them. Remember that these graphics cards still have the same GPU as their competitors, so the performance gap won't always be as large as the price gap. However, Asus also offers several graphics card series that are far more affordable, like the bland-looking but budget-friendly Dual and TUF series, and the blower-equipped Turbo series. All in all, Asus is a versatile manufacturer that may be best known for its extravagant ROG Strix cards, but that can offer something to gamers of all budgets. All of their graphics cards come with a standard 3-year warranty. Next up, we've got MSI, another hugely popular manufacturer that deals with all things PC-related, including, of course, graphics cards. Their graphics card portfolio includes everything from the likes of budget-friendly solutions to high-end models that no enthusiast could find fault with. Their most popular series of graphics cards is the Gaming X series that's known for its sleek aesthetics as well as quiet and efficient cooling. They also offer a 3-year warranty plan with all their cards. Overall, MSI is on fairly even terms with Asus at the moment, although we're more likely to recommend their graphics cards over Asus because they pack better value for your money, while Asus charges a higher premium for aesthetics. And the last of the big three manufacturers that make both NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards is Gigabyte, another company that likely needs no introduction. Gigabyte generally tends to offer better value with their cards, especially with the low-end and mid-range models. These cards don't come with impressive cooling systems, but they're great for gamers working with a limited budget. This doesn't mean Gigabyte can't hold its own when it comes to high-end models. Their Aura series of graphics cards known for their bulky angular shrouds and loads of RGB lighting can give even Asus ROG products a run for their money. In terms of warranties, Gigabyte offers the standard 3-year plan, but you can also get a 4- or 5-year extended warranty with certain models. In any case, Gigabyte is a safe pick and a great choice for gamers looking for quality, budget-conscious graphics cards. Unlike the previous three manufacturers that produce both AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards, EVGA is partnered exclusively with NVIDIA. 
Their graphics cards are known for their high quality construction and many Nvidia fans swear by them. EVGA makes both budget friendly and enthusiast graphics cards and offers extended warranties of up to 10 years. With all of this in mind, it's easy to see why so many Nvidia fans swear by EVGA and why it's considered by some to be the best manufacturer of Nvidia graphics cards. If you're looking for a quality made Nvidia graphics card and you aren't planning on upgrading in the foreseeable future, you should definitely consider buying a card made by EVGA. Zotac is another Nvidia exclusive graphics card manufacturer. Unlike EVGA, it doesn't have a dedicated fan base as the company is relatively new. However, it's already found its own niche in building compact and affordable graphics cards. This isn't to say that Zotac doesn't make high-end models. Their RGB-heavy AMP series should not be overlooked by anyone looking for raw power, but their mini-series of graphics cards is far more intriguing, as it offers performance comparable to that of the competition, but in a compact frame that still manages to pack relatively good cooling. The only downside is their two-year warranty plan that only goes up to three years with an extended warranty. In summation, Zotac is a perfectly fine manufacturer of Nvidia graphics cards in its own right, but if you're looking for a compact solution that can fit inside even the smallest and portable of cases, it should likely be your first choice. PNY is one of the most obscure brands on this list, but it's still a reliable brand that shouldn't be dismissed. This company also makes only Nvidia graphics cards, but with heavy focus on affordability. PNY cuts many corners to make their graphics cards as affordable as possible, so if you're pinching for pennies, you should check out what they have to offer. And to reassure you that their graphics cards aren't poorly made despite the low price attached to them, PNY offers an extended warranty of up to 5 years on top of their regular 3-year warranty plan. While it may not have anything worthwhile to offer to folk looking for power or pizzazz, it's safe to say that budget-friendly shoppers will love PNY graphics cards for their affordability. Sapphire is the most well-known company that deals exclusively with AMD graphics cards. And for a good reason, they've made some of the best AMD graphics cards to date. In some ways, Sapphire is to AMD fans what EVGA is to Nvidia fans. Their build quality is immaculate and their cooling systems are highly efficient. But there's one key difference here that we mustn't overlook when comparing these two, and that is warranty. Sapphire issues only a two-year warranty for its graphics cards without any option for an extended warranty, which is sure to turn away some potential customers. Regardless of this, Sapphire remains one of the most prolific AMD partners and we can wholeheartedly recommend their graphics cards to users who can see themselves upgrading the cards before the warranty expires away. And the last manufacturer we'll cover in this video is XFX, another AMD partner, but one that focuses on reliability and value above all else. In terms of exterior design, their graphics cards are some of the most bland examples you will ever come across, with simple black shrouds and nothing whatsoever to attract your attention. However, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, as XFX graphics cards have a great price to performance ratio and good cooling. Plus, most of their models come with a 3-year limited warranty, although some models only come with a 2-year warranty. If you need a gorgeous looking graphics card that will dazzle its beholders through the tempered glass side panel of your case, uh, you should probably look elsewhere. But if you're in need of an affordable model that still offers good bang for its buck, you should give XFX a chance. And that about does it for this video. These are the top graphics cards manufacturers on the market today. Some of them are obscure, like PNY and XFX, which you may not have picked up on your radar so far, but all of them deserve a spot in this video. In any case, we hope you found this video helpful. You can let us know if you have by liking it, sharing it with friends, or leaving a comment. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to enable notifications so that you never miss a new video. We upload a new one every week, so stay tuned. We suggest checking out our other graphics card related videos while you wait, as we've got loads of them on here. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few, and as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.